going on, everybody? Welcome back to the beatmajors.net. So I'm back with another video. This time I'm going to be basically showing you guys how to how to do like live hi hats. You know, I know a lot of you are out there don't have, you know, access to certain plugins or you don't have access to, you know, like an actual live drummer. So you're like, well, how can I get the live sounding drums or live sounding hi hats um, in my, you know, my beats and things like that without you know, having to go find someone that plays the drums or going to have to just spend a lot of money with, you know, plugins and things like that. So I have a beat here where basically I used um, I use addictive drums, of course, because that's one of the plugins I have access to for live drums. But the purpose, like I said, is just to show you guys how to do live hi hat. So basically here um, I'm going to play the beat so that you can hear the hi-hats and hear how I did it. And then I'm going to show you how you can do that right at home. So let's check it out. Sorry for all the clicks and pops if you guys can hear that, man. For some reason, every time I get to run in Camtasia, this thing just goes nuts but anyway so basically here let me find the hi-hats really quick i think this is the pattern here um let's see let's go find this pattern okay so i did two different patterns here so number pattern four and pattern five are my hi-hat patterns so pattern four sounds like this It just repeats basically the same, t t t t you know what I'm saying? And then pattern five is the backup when it goes like. Now, I could have did that on the same pattern and things like that, but I chose to do it separately so that I could have a little bit more control just in case I don't want to hear um, um, this pattern here. But I just want this one. So, you know, it just depends on, you know, what you're uh, trying to do um, as far as, uh, you know, um, hi-hats go. So, like I said, I use Addictive Drums, man, and this plugin is, it's amazing. It has a lot of the live drums. As you can see, it's a whole set here. And, you know, in here, you know, you have presets and things like that. Um, and then when you pick your presets, you can go in as well and get deeper and change the actual sound itself that you're trying to use. So your hi-hat which is on a few different keys here. And it sounds different. They're like different style of hits. Then you got your open hat. Then you get into the ride. But everything is, you know, there. So you can change your hi-hat and how you want it to sound and things like that. You know, that may be too strong. You might want to go to this one. Um, another, and it says it right here, what it is, a Sabian. But anyway... So that's basically how you that's what you would need um, if you have the you know the money to grab it up grab up addictive drums um, it's by excellent audio and this is what I use like I said for my live hi hats and I can just do quick patterns like right on my keyboard without any without any issues now as you've seen I laid those down with the actual uh, addictive drums but you can also do this at home if you don't have access, like I said, to addictive drums, and then you have just a regular hat like this. You know, you can use that for uh, a live hi-hat because live hi-hats is all about velocity and how hard you're hitting the hi-hat itself. It's not really necessarily about the sound. Um, live hi-hats is just a feel. It's not a necessary, it's not a necessarily a sound. It's just a feeling. Um, so. I'm going to kind of show you guys how I would lay down live hi-hats on this beat just to, the same way that I did those um, other two patterns. So I'm going to go find a new pattern and I'm going to lay a quick uh, hi-hat pattern down so you guys can see how to uh, lay down hi-hats in uh, FL Studio with, you know, your own um, drum sound. So let's check it out really quick. Oops. Let's uh, turn the song mode on. There we go. All right. So now, like I said, it's all about feeling and it's all about, you know, uh, how you do it. So basically, I did, I did the same pattern all the way through. So actually, I don't really need all of that. I can uh, 
Jeez, these are so off. Let's see here. Let's let's get it together. So now back to what I said about, you know, feeling and things like that. Um, basically, when you're doing live hi-hats, as you see, you have your hits, but the velocity is all the way up. So if you leave the velocity all the way up, it sounds like this. And that's not what we want, you know, what we want. That's a live sounding hi-hat, but we want, a, a you know, an actual feeling of, of a real drummer. So like I said, it, it just plays a role with your velocity. So if you turn the velocity down, so your first one would hit hard. And your next one would hit kind of soft. Third one would hit hard. Fourth one would kind of, you know, bring it down a little bit. Next one, hard. This one, you know, bring it down. Just randomize them. They don't all have to be the same exact. So that when you start playing it back, it sounds like this. So you see that that's more of a live sounding hi hat. So let me let me play it back one more time. And then of course you know like I like to do I like to take things off time a little bit. I hate leaving things like right on the grid um, because it sounds computerized. So uh, if you hold shift and use your arrow left and right, um, if you go to the right, took it off about four not notches. So then when I put it with the beat, it sounds like this. It has a little bounce, so I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, drag it over a little bit more, um, probably like uh, over more two more, so that'll be six notches off. And if you want to get you know a little bit more realistic, you know what I'm saying, you can drop them down a little bit more. Um, so they're not so harsh. And again, sorry for that crackling and whatnot, but that's kind of, you know, that's just the way to do some live hi-hats on your beats, man. So while you're at home and you're like, yo, this pattern deserves, you know, a live drummer on it and I want to do some live hi-hats. That's how you would do that. If you don't have access to addictive drums, this is the way um, that you would do that with, you know, just a regular uh, hi hat. If you, you know, if you can, um, like I said, it's just really all based off of velocity. Velocity is just basically how the drummer would play it and how, you know, the, the feeling of how the drummer would play it. So just, you know, remember that whenever you're doing laying some hot live hi hats down, it doesn't need to be t t t t t t. It could be t t t t t t t t. You know what I mean? So. Hope this guys, I hope this helped you out, guys. Um, I hope you like this, and if so, definitely hit the thumbs up, um, hit that subscribe button, and after that, hit the bell. If you guys, I want to, well, I want to, you know, just thank everybody that's been grabbing up the kits from BoatloadKits.com. Um, if you haven't, if you need some drum kits, loop kits, MIDI kits, stem kits, anything like that, BoatloadKits.com is where it's at. Um, we have a bunch of custom. Um, high quality custom uh, loops and things like that so go check it out um, the previews are there as well you can watch the videos or listen to the beats um, that you know basically are previews for the kit so until next time guys i holla peace